So guys, you've probably heard throughout the week that everyone's talking about this chat GPT thing. It's basically a AI developed by OpenAI, and it's a program where you can basically give it a text prompt and it's gonna give you back an answer. And this thing is blowing the minds of everyone, especially digital creators, marketers, people in business, entrepreneurs like yourself or potential business owners like yourself. And it is really, really incredibly powerful. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I've just like one single use case of how I've used it. Uh, I use it within Integromat, which is um, it's now called Make. And basically you can connect it and then do a whole bunch of automations. I am very pro automation. I think it's an extremely useful business tool, especially if you're trying to get started. It's a way to save on costs and save on time. So I am a very, very, very big fan of automation, but now throwing this AI into it is like a whole different curveball. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna show you here on the screen uh, what I'm talking about. So this is Make. If you haven't used it before, make sure you sign up using my link. I get a bit of a commission. That really helps my channel. Um, and yeah, so basically what you do is you have different nodes and modules. And here I've got the basic trigger. And then this one is the OpenAI ChatGPT. Uh, you can also go to their website and do some stuff on there. But this is particularly about automating it. So what you do is you add this module and then what I've done in this particular scenario, I've got a text to speech and then I'm going to send the file to me. So let me tell you what's going to, what, what this is for the use case. I wanted to create a automation of an, of summarizing my YouTube transcript into a paragraph, which I could then either use potentially for my YouTube description. And then I just like wanted to go a little bit uh, like one step further and put it into a text to speech as well and then send the audio file to myself. So as a, as a audio file. So this is also using uh, Google's uh, Neural2, which is an AI text to speech uh, module. And then this is the OpenAI chat GPT. So anyway, let me show you basically how it's gonna work. So within tools, basic triggers, this is where you would create your uh, default sort of um, inputs uh, because we're going to have just a manual input. You could have some sort of automation about where you get your information from. But in this case, I've gotten my YouTube transcript. So here was a video I did a, a while back. I just, you can go down here, toggle transcript and get rid of the timestamps and then just like highlight everything, come back over here and paste it in. You can see it's so long YouTube transcript. Um, it's about, I think it was about two, three, four hundred words. It was quite a, quite a, quite a lot. Then within uh, OpenAI uh, ChatGPT module, you've got the different models, which is, uh, in this case, I'm using Text DaVinci 003, which I think is the best one, but there's a whole bunch of different ones you can check out on, on their site. Uh, you Then I'm going to, this is the prompt, so this is what you would type into ChatGPT. So can you summarize the following transcript into less than 100 words, and then insert the transcript from this module. So then it pastes it at in. Essentially, I could probably take this trigger away and then just paste in this prompt with the text transcript. Your tokens, you do have a limit on tokens unless you've got your credit card in OpenAI. So I've just put a limit on the number of tokens. And then there's a bunch of other settings that you can go through, but they're not too important. Then what I've done is I've taken the answer from OpenAI and then I put it into the speak mod, into this um, Google Cloud text to speech. Then uh, what I've done is selected the code and it selected a voice and MP3 speaking rate I took down, I turned the pitch down a little bit and then I've okayed that. And then the last thing is I've got a module that I'm basically going to send it straight to my phone with the, uh, with the, with the, with the text. And yeah, so that's, that's essentially it. So let me show you how that works. Just center the video here and then we can run it just like this. So it's taking that transcript, it's sending it to the OpenAI, very quick response. So as you can see, here is the summary. And let me take you to Telegram. And as you can see here is the video summary. Black Friday can be chaotic. So here are five tips for surviving the busiest this. retail day of the year. Firstly, plan ahead with a single day sales window to create a sense of urgency. Secondly, Highlight attention grabbing, haymaker deals. Thirdly, ensure. So as you guys can see, this is like incredibly, incredibly 
accurate and well said. So I also I did limit it to to summarize it in less than 150 words, and it is really really spot on with regards. I mean, you, you, compared to the whole video and like how it just did that whole transcript. I think I mean the YouTube video is not just it's five steps it's like me you know i waffle on about this and that and like i, I tend to like lose topic and point and I, I ramble and this just absolutely narrowed it down so like if you guys can think of the potential for this this is just like one use case you could summarize entire articles put it through tweet this so like do your video grab the there's an api for youtube i'm sure you can try, grab that transcript automatically uh then tweet a summary of your video with a link back to your video there's just like so so many possibilities here that you guys could do and it's like a little bit scary i must say personally with this ai thing i'm overwhelmed and i think the world is going to change a lot with regards to where we're going to be next year um if this is what it can do now they say apparently it's going to be there's going to be another update and in like six months and it's going to be like 500 times more powerful so yeah we've got a bit of a road ahead um if you guys are running a business, I highly, highly, highly recommend you try use some AI in your business here whatsoever. If it's like writing blog articles with SEO optimization and things like that, those things you can do right now. Just go over to the ChatGPT website and you've got free credits. And yeah, it's, it's just immensely powerful. So guys, that's about it for me today. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll check you in another one.